In this video, we're going to demonstrate the nearest neighbor algorithm to solve the traveling salesman problem. At first, we have five cities to travel to. To do so, we're going to pretend to actually be the traveling salesman and pick a starting city and move through each city one at a time. At each step along the way, we will choose the cheapest route. So you can see here we started from California to Minnesota was the cheapest option from Minnesota goes to Florida then to Virginia and at that point going from Texas back to California is already in place and we have no options at that point. So watch as we go through here we choose a different starting city choosing the cheapest option each time. So if we start from Florida it's cheapest to go to Virginia at that point we go to Minnesota. As we move along our options decrease or diminish because we don't want to close the cycle too soon. We don't want to uh, we want to make sure that we are able to get home. The traveling salesman needs to return home. Now this algorithm is repeated the same number of times that there are cities. In this case there's five cities so we repeat it five times. Of those five, the cheapest one is shown here. This also happens to be the optimal tour that we also showed in the brute force algorithm. We can complicate things a little bit by adding three more cities, Washington, Kansas, and Indiana. Now as we work through this process, there are lots more options. It's quite complicated to show the complete graph for eight cities because of the uh, large number of edges in the graph. Nevertheless, what you're seeing here is the options as the traveler moves along and pretends to go through each tour one at a time. You'll also notice that the same theme uh, is in place in that the number of options will decrease as you move along. We have to make sure that we don't close the cycle off too soon and thus we're able to return home at the end of the tour. This is an efficient algorithm because we can run this uh, algorithm eight times since there's eight cities in sort of a uh, simple manner, a relatively simple manner. It's not terribly complicated as opposed to the brute force algorithm which would require uh, tens of millions of different tours to calculate. The uh, nearest neighbor algorithm is very efficient. Now it is not as accurate as the brute force algorithm because we cannot guarantee that we will find the optimal tour. We did find the optimal tour for the uh, case of five cities, but notice here as we are showing you the cheapest nearest neighbor tour for eight cities, it is a good answer. It was an efficient answer because we only had to do eight tours. However, it is not the optimal tour. It is not the best tour. In this case, the optimal tour is shown here in green and is slightly cheaper than the nearest neighbor tour. So the nearest neighbor algorithm is efficient, but it is not perfectly accurate.